I'm Garrett. And I'm Carolyn. And we're Diary of a Family. We're living life intentionally with you. Are we actually live? We're supposed to be live. Oh my gosh. We'll you kind of caught me off guard. You just plunked yourself down. And the you time arrived. started. <laughs> we're here. We're going. <laughs> Apparently. We're supposed to be. We're going to wait to make sure Edison, it's time to be quiet now. Mommy and Daddy are live. Um, I am on my phone and trying to see if we are actually live. It says live. All right. I don't know why it's not coming up on my we'll phone. Close it down and bring it back up. Let's try I can again. see you guys. Oh my goodness. An ad popped up. An ad popped up. Ad the Daily Wire. Hi. Hi. I need you not to do that, please. There we please. go. I All right, me. we're live. We see us. I see you guys. I need All right. you not to be so close to my camera. Edison, you need to climb down. Go in the bedroom and play Legos. Um, yeah. We uh, did not get our message out um, soon enough. Our live stream set up soon enough uh, so that we could have notifications for everyone. So nobody has joined us yet, but we will hang on a little bit. Yep. Um, it's been one of those days. No, it's been a good day. He did a lot of stuff today. You got a lot of errands and chores done, huh? Yeah. I, I realized there's a... I did laundry this morning. There's a laundry mat that opens at 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? So I was there by about 7 and yeah. started laundry. Were there other people there? There was a few other people there. Saturday morning. Wow. Saturday morning. And I got all my stuff in and then other people started coming in. By the time I left, there was like three times the amount of people in. It was crazy. All right, so our question of the day, I have typed it down below in the um, the chat. In the chat? Is that in, what you call it? In that? the chat. The live stream chat. In the chat. Um, and the question is, did you watch the Super Bowl? Follow-up question. Who would you watch it with? Did we watch the Super Bowl? Did we watch the Super Bowl? No. No. I didn't even know it was happening. I <laughs> I saw like a nursing our travel bugs video, their live stream, and they were like, "What's your favorite sports tip?" And they're like, people were like, "The kickoffs in like seven minutes, uh, yeah. six minutes, five minutes," <laughs> and I was like, "Nope, I'm sitting on the top of a mountain watching your live stream." <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah, we don't really do. Super Bowl, unless we've been like invited to do Super Bowl last year. Last year we watched. We were we watched Super Bowl because we were invited. Yeah. Um, to come and hang out with friends at their house and watch watch it. So that was good. Yep. It was enjoy enjoyable. Food was good. Fellowship was good. I don't remember who was playing or who won. Whoever it was <laughs> was probably the same quarterback from last year. I don't know. <laughs> who knows? Don't care. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, we, we do have a lot of stuff to get into today, but we kind of want to wait until we get a couple people on to... We may not. It's fine. We may not. Uh, Valentine's Day, right? Tomorrow? Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Carolyn, what are you going to do for me? <laughs> well, I have stuff going on. There's stuff in the works. I'm just The working. problem is she's working. I'm working. Uh, we are doing a dinner with our friends yeah. here in our little circle. We have quite the story to tell, for sure. Yeah. Um, are we going to tell it this time or not? It's not even on the list. It's so not on the it's list. A, um, another story to be told. We can hint at it, I guess, a little bit once we have some people we on. We had no plans to have anybody camp with us, and then all of a sudden we had two new neighbors. And they were full-time families, and it was like, what? It was awesome. <laughs> so, it was pretty crazy, yeah. and we were like, this is really bizarre. No, it's not but bizarre. This is it was, what this It was the cool about. bizarre, but it was like, who would have ever thought that that happened? No, it's the coolest thing. You run into the coolest people, and then they just become part of your life for that short amount of time. Yep. For us, it'll be about a week, and then... We move on, and they yeah. move on, and yeah. Yeah. If you're just joining us in the chat, the question for y'all. For y'all. For y'all. Um, have Did you watch the Super Bowl? And if so, did you watch it with somebody? Yeah, who did you watch it with? Who did you watch it with? The short answer for us is we did not watch the Super Bowl. 
but we did we, not watch the never, Super Bowl together. We did yeah. not watch it at all. But we're not ones. We're not very big into sports. No. Not as a family, we haven't been one fam. We haven't been a family that's like we got to keep up on the baseball or up on the basketball or up on the footballs or whatever. Yeah. We just it's never been something that I mean I played sports as a kid. I enjoy playing sports. I enjoy going and watching a professional game. Yeah. But, I've been to a professional basketball game. One. Yeah. At the Rose Garden in Portland. I've been to at least one professional um, uh, baseball game. The Mariners playing. Mm -hmm. And I think it was probably in the kingdom before they blew it up. I've been in the... I've been to a couple Major League Baseball games, a couple, um, my favorite ones really are the, the semi-pros, ah. like the farm teams, so they're the AAA, so yeah. AAA baseball. Well, last so, summer, didn't we get to, like, on the on a whim, we went to a baseball game? Uh-huh. It was the Sod Poodles. The Sod Poodles, the Amarillo Sod Amarillo Poodles. Amarillo Sod Poodles. You know what a Sod Poodle is, right? In the comments. Tell me if you know what the Sod Poodle is. At the end, I'll, I'll share it with you. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down here. What is a sod, sod poodle? Poodle. That way I can remember it because I have a short-term memory problem. Hi, guys. <laughs> Where are you guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Edison, don't interrupt our live stream. If you want to be a part of it, you got to come over by Daddy. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, sports, not a big deal. Edison, that little finger needs to be out from in front of the camera. Thank you. The, uh, nope. the other kids don't want to play with him. That's why he's in here. Edison, can you do a step? <laughs> X marks the spot, said Hi, no X Super Bowl for us. Hi, Edison. Hi, Edison. Come over here by Daddy so you can Come say on. hi to Miss Hope and Let's Mr. Let's do an Eddie face update. Oh, Eddie's face has uh, major Come issues here. again. Come here, Eddie. Around, I think, Christmas time. Come here. Um, we had to show you pictures of his... Oh, my goodness. Did we Come show here. him or did we just talk about his face? I think we just okay, talked about Okay, like black him. eyes all over the place. So now Come he's here. got a bunch of stuff, too. All right. Edison. Yeah. Oh. We're going to put you right yeah, here. Right here. <laughs> all right, so... Um, Do we want to start off with the top of his head? Yeah, the top of his head. He ran into... He ran into one of our truck. friend's uh, pickup truck uh, tailgate. tailgate. It was down. He was running around, and he went and thunk right into there. Busted it wide open. Busted wide open. That was my first experience um, patching up a, a head. Um, I basically can still kind of see the little spot here where I had to cut down his skin. Or no, uh, his hair. His hair, yeah. Right to this mm -hmm. scalp, basically. Mm -hmm. Hi. And then I, I put some I Derma Bond. Yeah. On super glue that. for the skins. Super glue for the skins. And then we've been having fun at campfire in the dark with our friends. And he can't, comes in at, at bedtime, like with his eye all swollen and a little scratch. Yep. And then mm -hmm. the next night, I'm going to hit him with a hula hoop in the face. So he's got another scratch here. And then he, what, fell on the stairs, and so he got a little bump he right here. He fell on the stairs there. That was one day that I was at home doing schoolwork with him. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday at the park while uh, I was at work, again, he split himself right, right, wide open. Right open his chin. And Daddy had to dermabond it again. You're just a mess. So in two weeks, I have fixed <laughs> two gashes in his head. He's one. just so excited. You're just so busy. You're Wasn't such a, yep. an active kiddo, huh? And it hardly phases him. Yep. So, I mean, he looks like he's a prize fighter from a boxing match. <laughs> want to say hi to Miss Hope? Uh, I just want to get my water cup. We have a few other people joining us. So, the question for the uh, video. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Who did you watch it with? And are you a sports person? Well, you don't have to answer no. all You don't have to answer that. No, 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 no. Here, ready? Pull this off. You're getting too hot. So, our short answer, for those that are just joining, we did not watch the Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> I didn't but even know what's since that, But since that was last week, yeah. you know, it's a it's a fun topic just to bring up. I know that, what was it? Uh, it was one of the least watched Super Bowls in history. Because nobody cares right now. Because nobody cares right now. So, Hello. anyways, that was last week. But... You know, so much has happened, and we just definitely wanted to uh, yeah. 
get you guys updated. This is also our community chat. This is our chance to connect with you as the DFAM. So make sure to go into the chat. Become active in the chat. Chat with us. And Hope says hi, Edison. Hope says hi. Miss Hope says hi. Do you want to come up here and say hi? <laughs> so, and we have some awesome fun stuff to share with you a little bit later in the video. All um, right, our thumbnail. Yes. Name that quote. If you noticed our thumbnail, if you just didn't, if you I saw it before you clicked on it, what is that movie reference? Let I didn't us know. Let it. us know. I didn't know. I was like, is that a quote from somewhere? And Garrett's like, yeah, it's from this. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right. Go back, look at the thumbnail, <laughs> tell me what that quote is from. No, just tell everybody what the quote is. Um, the quote is, thanks for all the fish. Thanks for all the fish. We were trying to figure out, like, what was a good title or something to come up with for this video, and it was like, I don't even know. And I was like, you know, we got a ton of cool stuff. We got a bunch of stickers and other stuff. So I just like, you know, thanks for all the fish. So definitely wanted to say thank you to all those people. Um, then we'll go do some fun stuff with it uh, at the end of this live stream. But in the chat, become active. Let us know you're here and watching, and then. Uh, Sorry, guys. I'm really distracted. He wants water. I can't get water for him because you're in the way. Well, someone else has to talk. <laughs> well, I can't talk really because you're talking. <laughs> um, Garrett brought me a box today from our um, uh, from our mailbox. And I thought at first when he took a picture of it, then it was a bigger box. So I thought it was the ice maker that we won. Well, and it wasn't, but it's a cool gift anyway. I got this from my company. It has their name well, on the front of it. And on the back of it, this might tell you what it is. Isn't that cool? Open it, open it. Open it, open it, open it. This is a roadside assistance bag, I think is what you call them. Yep. And here's a sign. Yep, the sign says SOS on it, so you can get some help right away. Yeah. yeah. It has it rain poncho, gloves, it has a little flashlight and some batteries Aww. to put into it. That it has jumper light. cables, a tire pressure monitor, ice scraper, it has a... Phillips head. Not Phillips, that's just Well, that, that's a flat head. That, flat mm, head, screwdriver. Oh, there is a Phillips in there. Yeah, you're right. Two batteries. Um, and a little tiny first aid. It has just like a few band-aids, a roll of gauze and some tape. Mommy. And I think this is supposed to be like a, and the, and a cone. And the, and the, uh, the well, moment. you put that on your flashlight like this. Ah, I didn't know that. I was yeah. like, it's going to fall So if over. you're trying to direct somebody in or... Or like keep them from get slamming their into your car. <laughs> you can, that's and that's cool. what the, the batteries are for. Yeah. So or you could do that. Or you could do that. That's great. It is a little trumpet. Yeah. Yeah? Here, you do this. You can put it on your head, and now you're a unicorn. Or a narwhal. A narwhal. <laughs> There's a no trouble going says, oh, look at those rosy cheeks. I know, and all the scratches. Look at this. All the scratches. Hey, mercy not travel, but we know from last week's live stream that you can answer our question. <laughs> did you watch the Super Bowl and who did you watch it with? Woohoo! That's the question for our live stream. Leave it in the chat and we'll discuss it. I was sitting on the top of a mountain watching your, or top of a hill, sorry, um, watching your live stream. So definitely curious to see who you watched, if you watched the Super Bowl, who you watched it with, and did you have a good time? So. Oh my goodness, I've been so thankful for all that uh, skin glue, all that super glue for owies. Because, I mean, every time he's busted his head open this, mm -hmm. the last week or so, I've been at work. <laughs> yeah. It's just the easiest way to treat it. You know, it's clean inside and you just glue it shut. Yep. So we have, trumpet solo. we have quite a few people joining us today. Hello, everyone. Make sure to let everybody know in the chat that you're here. We'll shoot, we'll shout you out. New Horizons. Hello, has, hello. 
joined us. We have some stickers here that we're going to show. Mommy, uh, so Mommy, these are all the stickers the that we got at, um, at Quartzite. At Quartzite, it's the New Horizon sticker. It's so shiny. It is very shiny. Look at, look, 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 look. You see how shiny it is? You see the dog on it? Yeah. Did we get a good, a nice a good view of that? Yeah, I just showed it. Our, um, my playback is like super delayed. delayed so I'm going to try to. Well, we got a bunch of other stickers from a bunch of all a lot of the other um content creators and we'll show you some of them so jerry we met jerry jerry, jerry holly jerry and diana uh, -huh. uh we roaming with rosie met them Let's see that one. Let's see this one's the easier one to see <laughs> traveling down the banisters they actually have their truck and trailer and it looks like it's on banisters yeah of a stair so we got that Stare one. Um, Tigner Adventures. Mommy, mommy, mommy. They're a great couple. David came over. Mommy, David came over a few times. Mommy. Just to chat um, with us. Bob and Tam's Mom. Excellent Adventures. Yes. They were there. We met them. Um, your, um, of course, we met the great eight. Box Man Van D. Okay. She was there as well. Mm -mm. And then I think. Mm -mm. Yep. Weekend, uh, weekend uh, RVing. Weekend RVing was there. They were. It's funny, they say Weekend RVing, but they were at Quartzsite since October. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe they named, their, maybe they named their channel when they were still only doing it on the weekend. Yep. And now they've retired. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, we were not able to get to know everybody um, like we would have wanted. Um, just the feeling of. You know, with the whole feeling of the year with COVID, everybody was pretty cautious about, you know, spending too much time with other people. And, yeah. Um, so we just kept to our little circle. But if somebody came into our circle, we were, you know, welcome, come on, have some Absolutely. food, join our circle. But we didn't really want to, like, just walk into other people's campsites um, unless we yeah. first had a relationship with them. Um, just I, we didn't want to make anybody feel weird around yep. us yeah so yeah well yeah. one of the other fam couple well yes. we just met him uh -huh. we didn't meet his wife but uh california travel videos it's michael and michael grace. and grace michael and grace and their dog it was just michael it was just michael that came out grace had grace was taking care of grandkids i think is yep. what was going on yeah, and but it was awesome. He is, he was amazing with our kids. Absolutely loved taking us all on like little nature hikes, going and exploring the rocks. Yes, there is rocks at Quartzsite, and our kids were bound and determined to leave with about a ton of them. Yep. So we had to discreetly kind of discard them when they weren't looking. Hey, we came away but we with kept one. With the, we Did came we? away with one. That door stopper is pretty nice. I know. Timothy found this ginormous um, agate. Oh, and I was like, oh my gosh. It reminds me of a stone my grandma had to prop open her back door. Um, I think she got it somewhere from, I, I don't know, somewhere in the West. Um, I think it was a piece of petrified wood. Um, so uh -huh. this agate, I was just like, okay, I know it's a couple pounds. I know we shouldn't take it along, but it's pretty darn cool. That's cool. So. It's flat. It keeps our door open. I made him leave everything else. Yeah. So, but it's a cool, it's a cool rock. The kids and, love it. And now I'll probably have it for the rest of my life. Probably. And call it my quartzite agate. And, you know, it'll be something that my grandkids will remember about yeah. grandma's house. So that is, you know, some of the cool, one of the really cool finds that our kids found and you know we had a lot of fun michael parked right next to us yep. in the little campsite that we were in and then the very last one that i wanted to show you guys is we did spend some time with the nomadic ramblers <laughs> and we absolutely love the childers yeah we were super happy to be able to sit down and do an interview with them yep. and also be part of some of the projects that they're working on yeah. which we'll be sharing with you later when those come out Yep. So you guys, they're really neat people. If you ever have the chance to meet them, if you see if see their beautiful teal colored rambler. What was the name of that teal? Do you remember the name of that? Uh, I don't remember. It had a very very specific name for that teal, 
But they have a 1970 Holiday Rambler uh, trailer that they pretty much gutted and, and, rebuilt. and rebuilt from they, the ground up. It's their only RV that they've had, and they've been on the road for seven years. Seven years. So and, pretty cool couple. And they're like, what, 70,000 miles oh, on that trail miles. trailer? Lots and lots of miles. So, anyways, those are the the stickers, and we'll put most of those on there um, at the end of the video. Oh, are we? <laughs> do we want to do I it gotta, live? I got to clean the I got to clean the um, the wall off back there. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can we can kind of do it while we're. Um, um. So we've hit some landmarks, or we're close to hitting close to. Uh, a landmark. So the first um, landmark, landmark, is that, that's not the right term. Well, um, a milestone. 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 Okay, you guys. Um, uh, just a minute. I just want to check and make sure that I'm, I'm not missing anything from the chat. Um, oh, uh, nursing our travel by talking with New Horizons. Yeah. Um, so our uh, major milestone. We just passed 2,000. 2,000 subscribers. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I don't Thank know why you guys watch us, but joining us. people Good seem job. to like our videos, I guess. Good job. And we highly enjoy spending time with you, especially on these live chats, and then getting to know you in, you know, at Quartzsite or on the road. It's It's been so much fun. Yeah. So, I mean, we're at, what, 2030 as of today? So, I mean, since we've gained 2,000 subscribers, we gave another 30. So... We're super excited for all of you. If you're watching this and you're a new subscriber, leave it in the chat or in the comments of a video saying, hey, new subscriber here. Thanks so much for what you do. Or, yeah, we want to shout whatever. you out. We love to shout out new people. And, um, you know, from time to time, we'll do fun things in our videos and on our streams. So. Yep. Um, yeah, we love to interview other travelers, other YouTubers, yeah. just to get to know you a little bit more in depth. Um, so if that's interesting to you, go ahead and email us yeah. about that as well. Eddie, go play with that yeah, in that's your bedroom. Connect at diaryofafamily.com. We usually keep all of that information in the description of our videos. Yeah. So you can always find any ways to contact us in those, in that description. So, And then yeah. did we want to talk about the other milestone that we're almost the other milestone that's your milestone it's your video so we have a video that is creeping up on he has a video i have a video okay it's one of my videos that i created that i didn't help with at all because he, it stars him and he edits it so yeah. produced starring and edited by by yours truly yeah <laughs> uh we have our first video that is about ready to reach a hundred thousand views a hundred thousand views what Yes, 100,000 views. It is, it is sitting right now at 91,000 views. And at its rate, I'm thinking probably in about a, in about a two to three weeks or yeah. maybe even a month, it's going to be hitting 100,000 views. So this is a very searchable thing because, I mean, it's, it's definitely not like it went to that amount of views overnight. This video... What, three years old? It's two three years? years old. So years it has old. taken time to gain steam. However, it is one of the more watched videos in the topic. And it has to do with the fixed car diagnostics tool. It is a um, it is an OBD reader, so it reads the error codes in when your that vehicle. Little check, check engine, engine light, light pops up on your dashboard and you're like, Oh my gosh, what's wrong? Is my car going to fall apart? Yep. Are we going to get stranded in the middle of New Mexico? Ah! Um, yeah, that's me. I freak out. Yeah. I have no idea how my car runs. I just know how to drive it. And so when that check engine light pops on, I freak out. Um, yep. This little OBD reader kind of gives you a, a little comfort knowing that you can prop, maybe self-diagnose, at least know whether or not... Um, you, you can call a mechanic and, and wherever you are and say, yeah. this is the code that I'm getting. What what could the problems be? And we've actually done this with the car in Nevada mm -hmm. yes. um, where it was obviously not running well. We yeah. knew this, the symptoms and we were able to call and we told him what the error code was. And he said, well, it's a number of things. It could be. And he listed them all off. And we started changing parts 
the things that we could do. And yeah. when in none of those things resolved the issue, we did end up getting it into a mechanic. And him and the mechanic knowing what we had done was like, okay, well, as soon as it does it again, we'll test it. Put and it, it, on the and it was one of those problems that was very hard to diagnose. If, if the car was cold, you wouldn't have the problem. It would run fine. It would run just fine. But as yeah. soon as it had been warmed up, you turned off the car and you come back on. Um, Thank you, Nursing Our Travel Bug, Hope Marks, and New Horizons are all congratulating us on um, our 2,000 subscribers and um, 100,000. That's a lot of numbers. That's yeah. a lot of times people have clicked on and watched this video. Well, I mean... If you're interested in what video it is and you haven't seen it, all you have to do um, when we're finished here is click, click on the Click on our button. channel. Click yeah. on our videos. The, the little option to, to uh, do newest or oldest or most watched and do the most watched option and it'll be your first, um, that first video yeah. there. So why are we bringing all of this up? Yeah, why? Fixed well, on my most Fixed recent special. fixed video, and I'm sure probably a lot of you that are, more, that are more current subscribers have probably watched that video. Um, they gave us a second fix device because I needed the to fix test company did, yeah. the fix company. I needed to test um, yeah. one of the problems that someone was claiming they were having. Yeah. And so, so they we have a new unit. So they have a new unit. They have a second one. So I am going to give this away. When we hit 100,000? Once we hit 100,000 views on our... the fixed video that well I did multiple fixed videos but the, that that specific video once it hits a thousand view, hundred thousand views we're gonna do a giveaway for this um, device now just a uh, disclaimer we are we are sponsors. fixed affiliates we're affiliates they have a, an affiliate program we're so. not sponsored by they're not, not they're not sponsoring us they're not telling us what to say but they did send us a unit to test and give away so if you are interested in winning a fixed diagnostics tool, it's normally about sixty dollars. Um, but we're gonna give it to you for free. But we'll give it to you for free, and I will help you set it up if you have issues getting it all set up. So it's definitely a fantastic product. It's a fantastic program, and we definitely want to share that with more people. Um, New Horizons is saying we are struggling finding internet on the road. We tried visible and it didn't work. Was thinking about nomad internet, but just a little worried about the price every month. Um, and New uh, Nursing and Travel Bug was responding um, that they should try visible again. That it was an odd ordeal. Um, that was odd ordeal for them to have I, that struggle. Yeah. Um, but that it was really hard to talk to customer service was New Horizons' response. Have you heard of Visible? Yes. Bill's been talking um, to you about it? Well, um, that's what uh, Kent and Lisa have. Ah, Kent and Lisa. When they're in the U.S., they use Visible. And so I wonder what the difference is. That's Kent are. and Lisa from Living, Living Light, Light RV. RV yeah. um, the differences between Visible and the Nomad. Um, um, TV I don't. Stuff now? No, it's not Nomad TV. Nomad it's Internet. Nomad mommy, Internet. Mommy, 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 I mommy. don't know enough about Nomad Internet to really give an opinion. Oh, I've heard some things about Visible. You I'm told that as as soon as you get Visible running yeah. properly, that it's it's, it's a great. Dream is great. Yeah, and there's no there's no uh, there's no cap, there's no throttling, nice, and all that kind of stuff. So that that's cool. But then there's some issues setting it up because, I mean, that's a big deal. Well, sometimes there can be issues. Well, there's a few different options that they have. Um, one is if you have a device, you can put a SIM card in. The other is you buy a device from them that comes with the SIM card. Um, what I've heard a lot of people do is they'll go and they'll buy, like, the cheapest um, smartphone that Visible has as, um, as one of their plans. They get the new card, mm -hmm. and then they're good. Mm -hmm. so Sometimes it, having... it could just be a compatibility issue with... Uh... So then you use the phone as like a hotspot for your internet? Yes. Okay. All right. That makes sense to me. Yep. Um, 
<laughs> so nursing our travel bag said slam they still do that huh haha -ha. so timothy had run in and run out and then slammed the door i have not been able i cannot get them i said i tell them Babe, it's don't because do that it. door doesn't latch easily and so they just they don't care they're not gonna turn around and try to latch it properly uh, we've all the two rvs that we've had not There's, counting the scamp that grandma and grandpa gave us. Yeah. We had a little scamp before we ever went full time. Um, the doors have always stuck weird or didn't latch well. It, and especially yeah. like if it gets too hot, it seems to swell or flex or whatever. And then it sticks really hard and the kids think the door's locked and it's not. Yeah. Anyway, we haven't had very much luck with RV doors. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, because almost every single RV we go into, one of our friends' RVs, we're just like, click, and it you know, it's goes so open, nice. and it's click, I'll go and it goes out of closed. I'll all day long. I love it. And no problems. They're just like, oh, I'm going to close the door, and they're like, boop, and it's like, click, do 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 <laughs> And it's like totally cool. So we're like banging it with a hammer or like pushing on it with a truck just to get the darn thing to close uh, nursing our travel bug says barb villa fixed our door today while i was out dashing cool cool very cool well i've got a um i've got to hire an rv tech to fix our door <laughs> Garrett's I already, like, I don't know. i've already been working on the darn thing <laughs> it's a lot better than it was though. It it's is not a lot sticking better. It I, is a lot better. I did it. I did fix it. I did bill her. No. <laughs> he didn't bill me. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Wednesday's video coming up. Yeah. Crab California Adventures uh, thing. Um, we wanted to let you know about this first. Um, Michael from California Adventure, Adventure Video? California Travel, Travel videos. videos. I always mess it up. I always put adventure in your title. I don't know my... Michael, I'm sorry. Um, he interviewed us at Quartzsite, and his interview came out, so we'll make sure that there's a link in the description of this video. So you can go. You liked Michael, didn't you? Did you like Mr. Michael? Yeah, because I missed him. You missed him? Yeah. Did you have fun searching for rocks and playing frisbees? Yeah. He gave us a couple of frisbees, didn't he? He gave us two. He gave us a red one and a blue one. He did give us a red one and a blue one. Do you yeah. like playing frisbee? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, he did a fantastic job on the interview. Um, I watched it through even though I knew what we had said. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, so check out his channel. Um, Bobby, mommy, they're mommy. a small channel still. Mm -hmm. I want to Mr. Michael the balloon. Well, Mr. Michael watches our show. So you get the balloon and you show him. Our kids find great friends in all ages, and um, Mr. Michael, he was definitely a kid at heart. Yep. So they had a lot of fun with that. Eddie, don't bump the don't, camera. Don't bump it. Don't bump the camera. <laughs> Here, hand it to me. Uh, nursing our travel bag says I can and hire. I can me. hire Barb if I want <laughs> to come and fix our home. I should turn my balloon. Okay. Okay, Ready? Mr. Michael's probably gonna watch this video, so you show him. See, Mr. Michael, we got a balloon today. It's a very nice balloon. Show it right there. So, uh, right show the camera. Right the, right the camera. Yeah, what does it say on the front of it? Um, I, it says, I got everything that I, you need. I've got everything that you need. No, it says, Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, but the, but the side says, I got everything that I, you, but that you need. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. He likes to change the words to like this. So every time we have gone to the store in the past couple of weeks, he has been asking for a balloon. Yep. And asking and asking and asking. And he can have a balloon. And most of the time, I don't even balloon. want them to touch them because as soon as they grab one, <laughs> and then I have to take it away, they're sitting there crying because they can't have their balloon. And I have to remind them that we didn't buy a balloon. We're not buying one. So I decided to buy a balloon for Carolyn, knowing that most likely it would become Edison's balloon. <laughs> that balloon never made it to me. That one did not. Garrett was carrying it across the campsite when he got home. No, Edison was. Edison was. You handed and it to him. So what had happened was... What had happened was... 
My back was turned. I, I didn't know what was going on. Edison with. had the little, there was a clip on it, and I told him to hold the clip. And he was walking, a gust of wind came, and he let go of the clip. Oh, dear. And the balloon kind of started to drag along the ground. Oh, dear. So I went with my foot, and I pushed down on the little clip, stopped the thing from moving. Yeah. Edison ran up to the balloon, said, I got it, and went, boink. And oh, he popped it off the string. He popped it off the. He popped the balloon off the string, and the next thing you know, he's sitting there watching the balloon just go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I turned around just in time to see the balloon pop off and float away. It's probably in the Saguaro National Park right now. But, but just, but, and so Edison but, was just like, <gasps> no. did, did your balloon go, go, go flying away? Yeah. Luckily, we had friends who had a balloon, and they said you could have it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, forever best friend just joined us. Hello, Hello. welcome. And welcome. <clears throat> we love having newer channels on the chat and in our live stream. So, we are having an awesome Saturday. Mommy, Thank you very much. Mommy, yeah. Mommy. You know what? I'm trying to talk to our mommy. friends on our live stream, and you keep mauling me. Jerome is uh, Jerome Hart. Hayes is on. Mommy. Hello and welcome. If you guys are just joining us, we have a question for you guys. Did, did you... you watch the Super Bowl? And if so, did you watch it with someone important? Or did you watch it by yourself? Or, you know, how did that work out? For us, we didn't watch it. But, you know, I know that there are a lot of people that do watch the Super Bowl. So, if you guys did, let us know. So, you know, we were just kind of hitting some uh, fun milestones. and. Yep. 2,000 subscribers and almost 100,000 views. views on one of our videos. Uh, stay tuned in the near future. When we hit 100,000 on that video, we will give away the little the, OBD reader that the, the video that is video. about. Yep. The fixed. We'll probably do a video. Like, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to do a short contest giveaway video. Yeah. And be like, comment on this video if you want to be given, a, you know, be part of the giveaway. Yeah. And then join us for one of our weekend live stream type of thing. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Get a lot of people okay. to come join us, and then we'll do try to do heart, something fun. In the dark. Okay. But for those of you who don't know, this is a vehicle. A vehicle diagnostic. Diagnostic tool. Hello. And um, we really really like it. The reviews that we've put have done on this product have really <laughs> helped us out. Forever fr best friend said I watched it for the commercials. <laughs> I think I think that's usually what I watch it for. <laughs> yeah. The commercials are usually the best part depending on who is Some of playing. those commercials, like those spots are like millions of dollars of advertising that they are spending for those spots. Sometimes tens to thirty million dollars. I mean, yeah, it's it's absurd crazy, how crazy am amounts of money for one ad. Anyway, the bidding is up to fifty cents. Says nursing our travel bug. So this it, this is a vehicle diagnostics tool for your um, car and your truck. For your car and truck, or I'm sure if you have a towable, so or um, a motorized RV. Yeah. You will probably have an OBD reader in the the cab mm -hmm. of your RV. Yeah. Um, it is it's standard on all vehicles after 1996. So if your car is older than that, older I'm than sorry. That, you're not gonna. And have... it probably has issues anyway. Probably. <laughs> um, but it's a really really cool device, and it is it is free to use. If you have you have to basically pay for the dongle. Or this little uh, connection device, and <laughs> does fix work on an RV? Um, um, on the motorized. On the motorized ones, it probably does. Unless it's older than. But it. But it. I don't know when they started putting the OBD 19, readers in. Mommy, all RVs cars and trucks in 1996. Mommy, mommy, Huey, you can have Okay, go I'll hold on to her. You go play. I'm trying to convince him to go play. But yes, we have an OBD reader for our Jeeps. And it works well. well. Yeah. Good. What we like about this is it's small, it's compact, um, so we can just throw it in our glove box when we're not using it. Or a lot of times I just keep it plugged in to our vehicle. Honestly, we found it, it was one time around Christmas time, probably about five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw an ad 
it, it was, was like a, a buy one get one free or right, something like that. Right, and because it was like a very new product, it was still probably like beta phase. I'm not yeah. sure. And so we got like two units for thirty five dollars. It's yeah. Since then, it's gone up, and since then, they've also added the the premium, the premium, program. which is a subscription based service, but it's not required it's to not use. It's not required at all. Um, yeah. So I mean, he got it. We liked it. He decided to do a video on a it. A review of it. A yep. review. That one did well. And then the second video is the one that is almost to 100,000 uh, views. And it was just kind of a review after one year. Mm -hmm. um, and and that's you know, the by one that, that time, your editing skills were better. Your production. Your, your self-awareness in front of the camera was better. Yeah. Um, and it went. It's, it's taken off a lot this year around the Christmas season. Like, we started getting... <laughs> A thousand views on it easy in a 24-hour period yep um, so. yeah there was a lot but I mean fix was really pushing a lot of their products they over were, the yeah. holidays and over yeah. Christmas yeah Jerome says we have an OBD splitter to two to hook up our sprint drive for internet cool yeah that's all I mean there's some cool stuff about it and then you know a lot of the questions I get with the uh, OBD because Hundreds of people comment, and most of them, they're all asking the same thing. Honestly, they could go through the comments Just in the video the and be like, oh, that's the question I had. Oh, that's the answer. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> but, you know, they ask a lot of questions, and I'm like, well, if your vehicle can detect it, then, you, then this fixed app will probably see it. All right, so, so. Nursing Our Travel Book has a question. How is the nursing assignment? Um, I am three weeks in, and it's going really well. Mm -hmm. um, I was expecting to be on a COVID unit, and before I even got to the hospital after being hired, uh, they had made it a clean unit, so they're not accepting any COVID patients. They have to be screened ahead of time, um, and the COVID patients that need to be admitted are going to the big hospital. Yeah. So we are taking transfers from other ERs some when we have space um, because right now they don't have enough staff to um, take very many patients. Um, well, he's trying to make the room dark so that he can play can you, with the no. flashlight. Go in. Daddy's trying to fix that issue. Um, well, the thing is, is they close the door, it slams it, and the I know. falls I know. off the rails. I know. Go in there. Just wow, the wind is really shaking. It's shaking out here, you guys. It is not a nice Saturday. It is a blustery Saturday. It would have um, been unbearable to do this live stream outside. Yeah. <laughs> so um, they are doing minor surgeries. Um, I mean, basic surgeries. A lot. A lot of the surgeries are same day, so they go in, they have the surgery, they recover, and then they leave. They don't really come to my unit very often on those scheduled um, things. We have had, um, we have admitted a patient here and there um, preoperatively, and then post-surgically we've had them for a couple hours, and mm -hmm. then they were recovered enough that the doctor go went, went ahead and released the patient. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, um, we, we have, medical tele patients um, where we're monitoring hearts and we're um, resuscitating with fluids. I, I took on a really sick um, sepsis patient that the doctor was unsure if he was um, going in. Um, it, it's, there's two different levels of sepsis and um, sepsis toxicity I think is what he, he called it. He wasn't sure if this patient had headed and that was too far gone to be able to be resuscitated well enough with just the, what, what I could do. Um, but the patient did really well over the weekend, so that was good. Cool. Um, we did not have to transfer him to an ICU somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of good experience, but I'm it. Uh, the unit is just me and a tech during the day, and um, if it's during the week, um, my boss is there, so I can run questions by her, but she's running the entire facility. Mm -hmm. So she's very busy, you know, helping with the scheduling of surgeries and different um, tests that okay. they're doing outpatient that yeah. just needs a lot of management. Um, mm -hmm. 
lot to go. We had problems with the phone system yesterday, so my four patients felt like ten patients um, with all of the things that we had to do for the patients and plus the family members calling in and us trying to figure out how we were going to connect them with their, their yeah. loved one who's in the hospital. Uh, we were unable to transfer calls from our phone at the main desk into the rooms, so we had to go out. We had to get um, IT on the job, and and it took hours for them to fix it. But yeah. um, towards the evening, I was able to successfully transfer a call into the, a patient room, and I was like, yes, yes, success. Uh, but also doing case management work. Um, so the case manager calls me and is like, okay, I'm at another facility. This is what I I have done for your patient. This is the form that I need you to fill out and sign and yeah. put in their chart. And I'm like, okay, I've never done this before. Done. So you're getting a lot of experience that you haven't gotten in the past yeah. with you were pretty much in charge. Yeah, I mean, uh, I am it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she's so used to having like a charge nurse, charge nurse. a huck, a this, a that, right. a CNA, a th If I don't know. know how to do it, somebody there is going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll take care of it for you. Or, yeah, this is how you do it. I, you know, the last job I had, there was a manager. There were two assistant managers usually on the weekdays. And then the, the charge nurse as well. And a huck. And, I, like, all of those people I can go to for anything that I need. Well, and a lot of them, they did paperwork. They did... Mm -hmm case management they did all kinds of stuff that mm -hmm. you're now the one doing all of that yeah you're the one you're doing all of that so, yep so it's been a, but it, it's also like there's been days you've gone to work and you've had no patients or like one patient yeah mm. yeah and so so i take my you know something to do right uh, i've been shoving my bible study material in my purse and taking yep. it with me and every single time i do that you're I walk busy. into like four patients or a really busy day, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. But it's well, good. What I what I think is funny is like, I I, I, ha I have to like be careful about saying the S word. What's the S word? Slow. Oh yeah, don't say the S word. No, don't say slow. Don't say quiet. The Q word. Yeah. yeah so no S word, no Q words, because yeah. those are bad words on the floor. Because quiet is not. You not, know, yeah, crazy. Don't say that. Yeah. Wow, it's so quiet. No, shh, don't say don't that. Don't do it. Uh, saying our travel book says, wow, you are the guinea pig. Yeah. Um, and it's been interesting, too, because the facility's been open since November. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me do what I wish for. No, let mommy talk. Um, let mommy talk. And granted, the, sta the, the ladies that are... Um, that interviewed me, they were the managers. Um, yeah. They had been there, stop. They had been there for many talk. more months. No, I'm talking. Many more months before the facility was open, just preparing the facility to be open. It takes so much work to open well, the Well, and you have experience but, really yeah, doing I have, too. Yeah, I, I know what that's like, opening a, a new hospital. But um, since I've arrived, um, both of these ladies who interviewed me and they're leaving. One has left already. She's like, I'm going back to my old job. I can't do management. I want to be at the bedside. She's an ED nurse before. Yeah. And and now my my you know my boss now she just informed everyone that she's leaving in a couple of weeks as well. She needs to be in. She's actually moving out of the state. Yeah. She is missing family too much and needs to return to a, uh, to to family. Yeah. Um, I, there have been other staff members that have been like, yeah, I'm leaving. This is my last day or this is my, you know, two weeks notice. And I'm like, what's going on? It's not a, it's not a horrible facility to work in. So, I'm wondering if they all live like up in Tucson and that. I don't, I, I, yeah, I don't know, but, but maybe there's, maybe there's drama I don't know about. Yeah. So, but. Well, we've, we've, Maybe it's just not what they expected it to be. It's possible. Hello, Bridget and Richard. Thank Hello. you so much for joining. Bridget's on. Can you say hi? Hi, Miss Bridget. Hi, Miss Bridget. So, if you're joining us, Richard and Bridget, I have a question. Did you watch the Super Bowl? And did you watch it with other people besides yourself? No. Um, no. We mentioned earlier on, now that we have some people joining us, that... Uh, 
we have gone through some professional games. We didn't watch the Super Bowl, but we had been talking earlier on in the live stream about going to last minute. We went to a minor league baseball game in right. Amarillo. Amarillo. And the minor league team's name was the, the Sod, Sod Poodles. Sod Poodles. And we wanted to see if any of you knew what Sod Poodle meant. Leave it in the chat what, you, what a Sod Poodle is, and we'll let you know. Here, what... just in a little bit. <laughs> yep. Just in a little bit, we'll re reveal the answer. <laughs> Sorry. I get, I get those hiccups, and I you try and hiccups. talk, and it's like... <clears throat> should just be like, elbow me. Your turn to talk. I got a hiccup over here. Yeah, so... It's my turn. Yep. Your turn to talk? Tell um, the D-Fam something. Something interesting. Um, this looks like a laser. It does look like a laser. That came out of my, um, roadside assistant package that my... Yeah. My, uh, my agency just sent in the mail. Watch it goes on. Yep. Okay, I have to call my recruiter and say, Natasha, did you know that this was coming? This is so cool. <laughs> it's even got jumper cables in it, you guys. It's pretty sweet. Like oh, I could also... Oh, yeah, you can land a plane. That's what Jerome said. Yep, you can Mr. land a plane. Mr. Jerome says you can land a plane. <laughs> Over there. Oh, um, also, I guess on my business front, yeah. I, I got my first Tucson job today. Yay, for Tucson! And it was a last-minute, well, like... It was a rescue It was job. a rescue job. Those are the best because the people are like, hurry, come we, out, we'll pay whatever. We need to get out and we need to, yeah. Um, so I was out doing laundry this morning. Thank you. It was about, it was about 10 a.m. when I was uh, finishing up. I was walking out and my phone rang. I didn't feel the, it ring. And then they called again. I was about ready to call them back because I saw a missed call. I'm like, I'm going to call them back. Oh, they were desperate. They, they were desperate. A second time. Um, they had a slide that went out. And while they were leaving the park, the slide would not come back in. Oh no! It's a so it was a stuck slide. It was a it was two two thousand. So two thousand seven little twenty foot uh, uh, travel trailer. A, a nice little couple. They had they love traveling in it. It sounds like they probably owned that thing since they. 2007. Oh, so it's an older it, it's model, an old, yeah? It's an older model RV. Uh -huh. I wasn't sure exactly. I've never seen that type of slide motor before. But I know enough about them that I figured out pretty quickly where the the manual control was. Yeah. And was able to bring it pr in. Basically it. hand ratchet their slide in. <laughs> so that took it, it took about 20 minutes to get their slide in. Yeah. But I told them I'm like they showed me what was going on. And I'm like, yeah, if it's not moving, but you're hearing the electricity, it means your motor's most likely bad, and you you need a new motor. But they didn't have the time to do it in at right now. They so they were leaving. They were leaving. So I'm like hitting the road. Hitting the road. So I was like, okay, I brought it in for them. I yeah. pulled off the little the little bolt thing that hang hang held in there, mm. and said, go find a socket or something when you get to your destination. Yes. Someone to help you pull it back out and then just ratchet it back out. And then, you know, find a dealership in your next area to uh, help you get the part and get it switched out. Yeah, very good. So it was, it was a temporary rescue. Didn't fix the slide, but they were leaving. It and got them on the road and it gave them direction in what to do yes, to fix it. Exactly. So, and yeah. that's a lot of what a mobile tech is. I mean, yep. they are, have the ability to come out. I was there within half an hour of them calling, had them on the road 20 minutes after that. So within an hour of them calling, they were able to get on the road. Yep. So um, Miss Bridget says, oh dear, I heard about it, sod poodle. Anybody? Anybody? Any takers? Sod poodle? Jerome says, yep, you can land a plane too. Yep. Eddie. Hi, Eddie. What's your cat's name? Miss Bridget wants to know. Uh, mittens. Mittens. It's mittens. 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 <laughs> Um, I think <laughs> mittens is everybody's. <laughs> so Bridget asked, "How did I, they hear about me?" Garrett's been taking his my um, business card cards to um, all the RV parks in the area and leaving it at the office. Yep, there's there's about two or three parks that I haven't been to yet, um, but this one at, was at the KOA 
lazy days. We're probably gonna and end we're probably up there. Gonna, yeah, I need to, I need to call them and get see if I can get a reservation for April. Because we know in April it's gonna start getting really hot, and we want to have power, uh, so we can run our AC. Yep. Um, so it'll be nice to be back in a park for the last month of contract. And I probably would see a boost of jobs. Yep. By being in that park mm. and having the sign mm. out and stuff. So. so here it is, you guys. A sod poodle is. It's a prairie dog. It's another name for a prairie dog. Now, if you're not familiar with the Amarillo area, it is flat. It's high out high desert plains. High desert plains. And, and it's covered it's in covered in prairie dogs. Prairie dogs everywhere, you guys. And they're ginormous. They're like yeah. You can see them really well from the highway. And, and you're you're sitting off the highway, you're looking, and, you, I mean, you could see, like, 20 or 30 prairie dogs, like, just by looking out of, off the highway. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. They're all over yeah. the place. I mean, I, I'm thinking of groundhogs. Yeah. They're huge. They're, like, as big as... They're like, about as big as groundhogs. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're ginormous little critters, but... They're, they're, they're not as as bulky. They're not as chubby as a ground... As a, so we got to see the sod poodles. Yep. When was that? Um, not this that last was summer. It was the summer, summer before. before. Yep, summer tell, 2019. Tell, so. tell Miss Natasha something. Yeah. Uh, Miss Natasha, he has something to say. Uh, Miss Natasha, where does this come from? Where does this come from? Here. Oh, yeah. This is... um. This is a little kit that my recruiter, Miss Natasha, gave me. Oh. It goes in yeah. your trunk, and when you have car problems, you have all the tools you need. Yep. yep. It's a cool little kit, isn't it, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, you guys, it's been about an hour. We have had fun um, hanging out with you. Yeah. Um, we will be oh, adding all of these stickers yes. that we showed you guys to our rig. Some of them aren't stickers, but most of them are. Right. So yeah, thank you like everyone for I who gave us stickers. New Horizons on, so yours is going on our rig I now. Like to yeah. show them this and one. we got to kind of spend some ta them. time with the um, with traveling down the banisters. That was really fun. They have a yeah. their their son is Edison's age, so they played some. Yep. Look, yeah. I'm gonna show them this. Um, if you oh, would yeah. like one of our stickers, um, there's two ways to get a sticker. You can email us at connectedDiaryOfAFamily.com. Mm -hmm. And say, hey, could I get a sticker? We'll send and you. send us your address, and we'll get you a sticker. Or find a way to meet up with us. Yes, and we we'll like give it you that a way. sticker that way. We love to meet up with you guys. So, Enjoy. all right, guys. Oh, Jerome has a question. Any demo for the fixed? Uh, I may tell something. Let me um, tell you guys. Your I second have video has a pretty good like. The second video is a complete walkthrough of how the system works, um, including a lot of their live tools. You. Um, and then my third fixed video also goes and answers a lot of commonly asked questions, and I test out a few things on that. So watch watch my fixed videos, and it'll really it'll show you how this works, and it's it's really simple, and it's really easy how it works. Um, but for those of you that didn't know, I'm giving this away because our, that our most popular video is almost at a hundred thousand views, and we wanted to share what we've really enjoyed about this product with you guys. So. so stay tuned for that video. It's coming as soon as we hit 100,000 views. Yep. And um, and we'll make sure that everybody gets a chance to win this free OBD reader. I mean, I feel like if you're going to be on the road as much as we are, you should really have something to help you diagnose, at least make it better as you're calling. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm 30 minutes away. This is what my car is doing. This is what the reader says. Yeah. Am I safe to drive my rig to you? For you to look at my car yeah or do i need to have this thing towed you know it, it, i mean yeah. we've we've um it's been very helpful the last five years that we've used it mm -hmm. all right yeah so we we definitely have gotten our money's worth out yeah, of it thank you nursing our travel bug no, they I posted the playlist for the I mean, video I mean um, that link jerome is just for you uh, anybody else, we will also make sure that those of you who are watching the replay, those videos are going to be, the fixed videos are going to be linked in the description below. Yep. Yeah, show them. We've already showed them, but you can show them again. What is it? This one says, Box Fan D. 
Okay. We got to meet her, sweet lady. And this one says Nomadic Ramblers. And it's got their rig on there. It's pretty. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live life intentionally. Stop, wait. What? One more comment. What? Bridget says, well, because remember, my feed is so slow. <laughs> Miss Bridget says, we are going to have dinner at Chili's this evening. Woohoo! With the, the couple we watched the Super Bowl them. with. Does I... he not know where the camera is? Oh, Edison, yeah. Oh, he, he sees his face. In I'm, the... I'm using my phone to read comments, and he sees his face there. So that's where he thinks the video the camera is. I'm going to show them this other one. Thank you, Nursing Our Travel Bug. You take care no, as well. No, I'm going to show them this other yeah, one. Yeah, show it to that camera up there. Oops, see? Yeah, Good. there you there go. There you go. Thank you, Jerome. You have a great day as well. Thank you for... for All right, should we try it again? No, Thank you for we've already said it. You can life. shut it off. All right, Thanks. bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Live life intentionally. That's right. Live life intentionally. Yay! Peanut butter! Thumbs up.